Taurus, this ooh, is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. <clears throat> this is an energy reading. So I do try to keep it as generic as possible. If you want a specific romance reading, that is in the extended link below. It's just all part of the extended video. Um, this is a full oracle card spread, uh, sun, moon, rising signs, wherever Taurus energy influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven to 10 days from whenever you see this video, it's always the perfect time. Let's get into the reading. My name is Michelle, by the way, welcome to Born Without Boundaries. Please do like this video, share this video if you really, really like this video, and then subscribe to the channel and help the channel grow. I'm really grateful that it has been growing in the way that it's been growing. So, ooh. All right, all right, all right, Taurus. But it came out the back end, and I'm wondering what's going on with you guys. Um, let's do this. No, 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 no. Yeah, there we go. Crowning energy. There's always enough. Feeling depleted somehow, emotionally. Uh, almost emotionally drained, maybe even emotionally numb or not knowing how to feel. This is Piscean energy, but it's turned on its head. And yes, understood during this time, it is, it is understandable if you feel like energetically speaking or emotionally speaking, you have been turned on your head. This is also a lot of things coming up from underneath, um, maybe stuff that has been, has been, suppressed or for, was forgotten about and now all of a sudden it's coming up to the surface you know you're so good at doing you know about taking things day by day but it's not like you're not emotional people you are you have deep deep attachments to family especially and friends um and you also have pretty high standards in life and sometimes those expectations are what can leave you empty as in if you're not reaching your own standards or if or you know if, or your friends aren't um, um, living up to expectations like people that you care about aren't aren't um, are somehow not being as supportive as you need them to be or 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 being the people that you need them to be to feel like hey this is why I chose them to be in my life that kind of energy um there's a sense of feeling like you have misplaced your emotions. Like there isn't enough of you to go around. It's, it's something that you feel before you start to awaken. It's a drain. It's a, it's, um, um, I, I liken this. It was in the Aries video. <clears throat> I'll attach that above. Um, to maybe feeling sick. This could be sort of a compromised immune system of some sort, like, like feeling actual physically, like resting a lot, feeling tired a lot, feeling, feeling drained. Like they're really, like you don't have enough fuel, like you're trying, running on empty. That's what it feels like. Wow, it took me a long time to get there. It's retrograde and I've been having a lot of trouble with words. So um, this is just the energy of not being able to find what you need or feeling like you have what you need. And you had been on a high, kind of like this, the times had been pretty good up until a certain point. And then all of a sudden it's like this week is definitely going to feel like the rug has been pulled out from under you. And, and the world is a little bit grayer and things aren't living up to your expectations and you feel like you're running on empty. That's the energy that's crowning you. But let me explain. This is definitely a transitional phase. It's a phase that you're entering into like a place that you aren't familiar with. So things aren't as easy and they're, they aren't as comfortable. And Taurus, if there's any zodiac sign besides cancers that love comfort, it's you. And you love material comforts. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that there's some sort of depletion here of your material resources, maybe money, maybe things, maybe you, you lost a bunch of stuff. I don't know if your car just got stolen. Like and somehow you've been depleted from those material things that make you feel like life is good, right? It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't feel as comfortable without those things. And I'm not saying you're a diva, like you can't go without it. 
but something that you identified, something 3D, something material that you identified as giving you comfort, that you identified as maybe home, or maybe that this means that I am valued, or I, ha I have a kind of life that I can admire or feel good about. There's been a, a, maybe a number of sacrifices that you've had to make that make you feel compromised. This is the energy of 36. 36 adds up to nine, which is something is coming to a head. So you're not going to, I would, you're not going to feel this for long. This is literally the purpose of this feeling is to bring something to the surface. This is a common thread that's happening for all of the zodiac signs of things being unearthed. For you, it comes in the form of this depletion, this feeling of depletion, this feeling of lack, almost like your waters are being drained away so that things underneath can be revealed. We can get to the bottom of the riverbed and see what's happening underneath. And so there's this, uh, this essence of lacking almost. Um, embrace the in-between. So the muddiness, finding a way to find balance and stability. And I do believe that there is still hope in you. I don't think that you've given up. This is the ener Libra energy, finding balance, but this is why this card is important. It's economy. <clears throat> economy is going to help you find some balance this week, and it's not something that you're going to appreciate. Why? Because you are a decadent creature. You really are. You love luxury, and the greatest luxury is just to be able to have what you want when you want it. You know, yes, you love to be able to eat that extra cookie. Maybe some of you are on a diet. Like, the, the things in life... <coughs> The things in life that make you feel the most abundant, for some reason, maybe it's by choice, are now being cut off. There's economy here. Remember that flamingo energy is basically strength in numbers. That's why they're that bright color. So when they stand by each other, it's like they look like a huge mass and can shock people just by being looking bigger when they stand next to each other. So they take on, they find, they don't, they don't try to take or have a lot. They find sort of um, solid, they find their, um, safety in numbers and in solidarity with their flock. And they also, you know, they, they only stand on one leg and they, I think they, um, you know, they can stand on one leg for hours and then move to the other one. Why? To conserve energy. So this is kind of maybe why you're feeling depleted. For some reason, there is a need to, or that you're feeling like your, your world is out of sorts. There was a need to make sacrifices. There is a need to be to make to be more economic in some aspect of your life, and it just isn't you. It's not what you like to be doing or what you like to be feeling right now. Um, nothing is wasted. This is beautiful energy. It's uh, finding treasure in a trash heap. This is. <laughs> dumpster diving also the energy of nine something coming to a head so this energy isn't going to last long but it is going to teach you a lesson which is economy finding value in rubbish finding value in things that you had maybe thrown away and and that is essentially a lesson that we got taught that we that we are taught during every retrograde is is did you throw something away that was worth something did you throw something away that was valuable like stop trying to buy new things or replace them or or just more 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 is always the answer no stop with the more enough with the more in some ways in some extreme cases i'm going to cut you off so you can't have more and now you're going to have to find a way to make do with what you have and i know that's uncomfortable for you but it's absolutely a necessary lesson that's going to teach not only teach you forget about forget it i know that is almost a, fr a frustration so intense with you right now that it's like, I don't want to hear about it. I'm just uncomfortable. I get it. So it's not even, let's not even focus on the lesson now. I'm telling you that there is treasure in the trashy. There is, there is something that you missed because you were about to throw it away. And if it's looking at love, if it's looking at Libra, it could have been love. I'm just saying. Because Libra is at other end of Venus. Right. It's that it's the opposite end of those Venus traits, which is like Venus is about luxury. She's about beauty. She's about even glamour, though she's usually about real, real beauty. Um, and that's you guys. And then and then Libra energy is more about connection. 
and connectivity and partnership and that end of that Venus energy. So this is about maybe you were about to throw away something that was really wonderful, like a partnership of some sort. You were about to dispose of it because it wasn't perfect or it didn't have the abundance that you wanted and you were you're being asked to look at it again, okay? Because this is the energy of two plus six, which is eight. There was something faded and destined in this. Could be, that may not be even, even be a person. It could be an opportunity that you might've skipped over, but universe loves you enough to say, hey, Taurus, take a second look, please, because I think you really missed something here. Um, overcome any obstacle. This is your energy. You showing up in your own reading is a really good sign. It's it's a sign that you're going to own and embrace this, that you can get through this, that you have the strength. What I want you to do, however, is not miss the lesson. I know you don't want to focus on the lesson because right now you're focused on the discomfort, but don't miss the lesson because the lesson is ultimately the most important part. Well, mm, there's like most important part A and most important part B. This is like their number one most important parts, both of them, and that is you did skip over something and you need to look at it again. Don't let this opportunity pass you by because it hasn't been as abundant or as fluent or as easy and comfortable as you like to have things. This is telling me that you're gonna have to get tough, that you're gonna have to use that sort of bull side of you that doesn't always love to come out, but it, it will come out in defense of something that you care about. It will come out sometimes in your stubbornness, but it's almost like your own stubbornness is helping to hurt you this week because you're sort of stuck in the mindset of, no, it has to be comfortable. It has to be the way that I feel the most comfortable. But this is like, no, you're going to have to get used to a little bit of uncomfort. You're going to have to suck it up and like, like almost like, almost like training for the Marines, kind of like, no, you're going to have to like, you know, I don't know, Navy SEAL training, learn, learn how to sleep in mud for eight hours, mud up to your neck. It's like, deal with this discomfort, power through it. There's a change and the change is being put to you for a reason. You know how good life can be, right? Now show life how good you can be. Um, dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. And this is your central energy and this is 10. Um, coming to a head, there is maybe the change is coming to what you love. Like, like what is it, what is it that you actually value and what is it that you actually enjoy? Um, this is your central energy. Um, this is Cancerian energy, a truth, loyalty, loyalty to a fault. Um, I honestly think you may have kicked out somebody from your life that was a really loving person and it was a really loving presence or have disconnected from them somehow, or maybe it was their fault. I got, I could, the, the energy can be reversed too. L losing something that, or somebody, because dog is usually a somebody. It's usually somebody who gave you that loyalty, who cared about you, who, who always made you comfortable feeling like, but there was this disassociation. Maybe they kicked you out of, out of their life or you kicked them out of their life. There was this you know, get out, I don't need you anymore kind of energy that really, stop. That really left you feeling, I'm gonna go ahead and say it, say it a little bit jaded, a little bit jaded. Life is speeding up, it's not. It's feel, it feels like it's flipped upside down and you see this car, this is my Gemini energy. It's, it's, um, that double helix is connection and things coming together, the two coming together. No, this is things unraveling and, and slowing down because of it. It's like something that was a well-oiled machine is falling apart. This is the retrograde energy because remember, Gemini is ruled by Mercury. So this is definitely what you're feeling. You're feeling a slowing down and an unraveling. But for you, it feels like you're feeling a slowing down when it comes to material resources or resources of some sort or things that you can rely on and depend on and it, it's not coming in as fast it's like maybe maybe you're spending it faster than you're earning it there's you're there's going to be sort of um accountability that needs to be held now it may not even be you it may be somebody in your life a parent a child a spouse somebody that you care about 
spending things faster than you can earn them, but you're really going to start to feel the pinch um, this week because of that kind of behavior. Um, sometimes life stings, but this is in reverse. So it's going to be healing. Like there's, there's a healing here. There's like, this is like, um, 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 an ache that's left over from a sting. It's not the sting itself, but this definitely has to do with something that was buzzing around you. Maybe, um, I was going to say social disorders, but not really like a social, uh, like, like not fitting in. Right. Or, or there was a buzz around you, a nagging, a, a nipping, a biting, um, something that was affecting you and making you and draining you. It's not like it, it's, it's almost like it's died down for some reason. Um, I'm not really sure why. I, I don't think that you trust it. I feel like it turned a situation that you feel felt comfortable in into a situation that you feel defensive in. And now you're going to hold on to that instead of just sort of letting it go. If that sort of atmosphere is going to surround you for at least the rest of this week. Um, that's also the energy of six plus four, which is 10. So something being over with, for me, this is like almost the 10 of swords, but it's the 10 of swords in reverse. So understand that this is a good thing. It's like something is finally turning around. Um, at least socially, something is finally going to turn around in your favor. It's just, there's been such a depletion right now. I don't think you can really appreciate it or really connect with it. So that might be the case. It's like, because of what you're going through personally, you might almost be missing a really good opportunity to connect with somebody that would be good for you. There's like a disconnect. It's like a missed, a missed connection, right? Like ships passing in the night or throwing the baby away with the bathwater because you're just so frustrated with everything. That kind of energy of just everybody get away from me. But there is this beautiful energy coming through of somebody who really wanted to be good to you. And you're just sort of putting everybody out of your life. So do what you should be doing during Mercury retrograde is go over things and look at them objectively and, and like, um, give them another fair shot because I do feel like there was this baby thrown out with the bathwater for you guys. Um, be here now, reverse energy of Libra. So this is that beauty side of Libra energy. This is that, that romantic side of uh, Libra energy. This is, this is the Libra energy that enjoys the moment and is balanced in the moment and finds beauty in the simple things. You are not. This is unbalanced. This is needing luxury. This is needing glamour. Not being able to see the beauty in those little things, those small things, those natural things, those things that you can always rely on, like things like nature. Like that's just not being enough for you. You're like, I don't want to go on a hike and walk through nature and enjoy a sunset. I want my freaking Lamborghini and I want it to be picking me up by five. That kind of, <laughs> that kind of energy. Well, you don't have a Lamborghini. You don't even have a Prius right now. You got sneakers and you got a hike. You better learn to like it. That kind of, <laughs> it's good. Like, listen, listen, maybe you guys love hikes. I'm just trying to say that it's that mentality. <clears throat> Let it shine. Speak out. This is transcendence. This is rising from the ashes. This is yes, you will be a, this is your grounding energy now. So this is yes, you will be able to get over this. Not only will you be able to get over this, you are going through this because it is transforming you. It is making you into a stronger, more open mind, more strong willed person with deeper insights and the ability to shine their own light. Even in the dark, this is scorpionic energy. Scorpio's like live in the underworld. So they have to learn how to strike up their own light. This is you being put in a position to make you strike up your own light, to make you know how to light your own fires. This is also the energy of 10. There's something that's coming to completion here, something that you're supposed to let go of so that you can move on to the next step. And then horse spirit, freedom is yours. And I really do think that this is freedom from, um, um, Freedom from your past self, freedom from those constraints, freedom from those that bridle. You know, in other words, freedom from 
like the, the horse is unbridled. So it's freedom from rules, freedom from regulations. And maybe that's why that's what's scaring you because you guys really thrive when it comes to, it's why you're represented by the Hierophant in the original tarot deck. You guys really thrive within rules, within really like, 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 um, tight boundaries. You, you thrive in it. You like that feeling. You like to even set them yourself. But bottom line is there's freedom all around you now. This is fluency. This is water. You're in the middle of water. You're in the middle of Pisces season. You're in the middle of, of, of ambiguity. You're in the middle of subjectivity. And it's, you're learning how to see the beauty in that. And also find ways to set your own boundaries and not need somebody always there to do it for you or help you out with it. it could be a, it's a transitional period for you. Um, spirit has a plan. This when this card comes out upside down, um, this could be referring to oh my god, I just understood like the koala bears in Australia, like. And maybe that's that's something that's happening to you is like why it, that question being put into your head. Why is all this bad stuff happening? And it's starting to make you lose faith in the world. Why are these innocent animals dying? Why are fires ravishing all around me? Like why, like, or well, why is it even, ha even if it's thousands of miles away from you, why, why, why? This almost loss of faith in the world because bad things are happening or because pressures are too high in your own world and it feels like nobody's there nobody's watching out for you well this is because this is this card comes out this way because it's basically spirit saying no 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 you take the wheel it's your job now to lead me where you want to go you're the one that has to make the decision it has to be your path and i need you to tell me where we go next that's that's what this card is saying and i feel like you don't you don't like it you you have this feeling of most other signs most other most other read when this card comes out in most other readings it would be like yay i feel so good about my life this is awesome i have freedom you don't like it you don't like the freedom you like the restraints you like the confinement you like like to hoard things and, and like like keep hold on to those things that matter to you and and those possessions that make other people feel cluttered. You don't like the ambiguity. You don't like the floating around. You don't like the openness. It makes you feel out of sorts. That doesn't mean that spirit has abandoned you or that the world has gone to, to crap. It means that you're being expected to now be the one that kind of constructs their own life. That's what you're being asked to do. Um, transformation is beautiful. It's going to happen like it or not, but there's a sense here that you want to turn back the hands of time. You want to go back to a time when you felt comfortable, when life was simpler, when other people were showing you the way and directing you. You're almost in a very like needy kind of clingy mood. If I could say it this week, male or female, doesn't matter. It, it's just a feeling of wanting to go back in time to a simpler time when not the whole world didn't feel like it was on your shoulders. <coughs> um, and then last but not least, believe in yourself. Something has happened to compromise your sense of who you are. This is Virgo energy in reverse, which means you are being extremely judgmental on yourself. You're being overcritical. Maybe you're being treated like this by somebody else. Somebody who, some, just an energy that's making you feel like everything that you do is wrong and that you can't make the right decisions and that um, like basically over scrutinizing everything that you have, having to feel, feeling like you have to be too economic and that's making you feel Feel like worthless inside like you like you don't have enough and that that nothing is going to work out this feeling of I don't want to be here I don't want to be here right now this is not where I want to stay well guess what Taurus I'm willing to bet that you are not going to stay here this is a fluent period you will transition out of this but you've got to get something from it it is your assignment to learn from this, even though you don't want to focus on the lesson and also pay attention because you're about to throw away something that is really valuable because you're just so frustrated in general. So hold on while we review the cards. <sighs> mm. 
yeah, you don't, you, you don't, you don't do well. You don't do well being free. You don't do well liberated. You love the confinements of a traditional home of maybe even being told what to do or rules. You believe in rules. It's almost like there's something here that's making you not believe in rules. That's making you, making you doubt any kind of authority in your life or you feel a loss of authority in your life, which is making you feel a little bit more defensive because it makes you feel less safe. There's a sense of, can I just go back to my roots? But, oh no, my roots aren't there. Something might have been taken from you recently that, that something that gave you that kind of um, foundation in your life that gave you that feeling of, of certainty and um, reliability and now it's gone. And even though the pain of that is starting to dissipate, the pain of the, the aftermath of how out of control your world feels because of it, is just picking up. So this whole period of retrograde really, I th it really should be about you. I know it's going to feel really impossible. I don't even want to tell you, find a way to make this a positive, like turn the, you know, t come on. I think I honestly feel Taurus. You just got to feel it to heal it. And this is going to be an uncomfortable stage. This is absolutely going to be uncomfortable for you. Um, a feeling of disconnect, even with the people around you feeling like maybe, maybe you feel like they're too shallow. Like they don't, you don't really connect with them at all. There's no depth. There's no firmament. There's no roots, no firmament. Um, not firmament. Um, firmament is heaven. Um, there's no, um, there's no, um, foundation. There's no roots. It's like, this is not where you want to lay your seeds. This is not what, where you want to plant. You're about to just jump ship and throw the towel in. I'm saying, wait, don't make those decisions yet because they will be based on this over flooding of like too much emotions, the muddy emotions coming up, not enough water or nutrients on top of them. Let everything just a surface, see what's under there and make sure and, and make, make sure you will be, let's put it this way, you will be surprised of what comes up, that it actually has more value than you could imagine. I'm going to go deeper into, I'm going to go over to the extended, please do join me. I'm going to go deeper into, you know, let, let's see what will be coming up, what we have to look forward to, what the major struggles are, and then we're also going to get into your romance reading. I'll see you guys over there.